In March of 2013, East Hartford police officer Paul Buchanan took his own life. Since then, a 5K in town honors him. It also raises money and awareness for police officers' mental health. Channel 3's Dylan Fearn was at the race on Main Street. Running away from the starting line and a stigma. It is sort of still a taboo subject. Nobody wants to talk about it. But these runners do want to talk about it. They're friends and family of former East Hartford officer Paul Buchanan, who took his own life in March of 2013. He was the best, just a great police officer, a friend to all, just um, sadly, you know, suffered from some of the trauma that he experienced on his 23, 24 years on the job. After Paul died, his wife of 29 years, Trish, helped launch an annual 5K run to raise money and awareness for police officer mental health, calling it the Believe 208 5K for the bravest and finest. 208 was Paul's badge number with East Hartford Police. Eight years later, the 5K has huge backing and support, and Paul isn't the only officer honored today. There's a memorial near the starting line, pictures of Connecticut first responders who have also died by suicide in the last few years. A rose lies in the middle of the memorial. Criminal justice professor Katie Kleis is today's race director. The wear and tear of the job, right? Uh, law enforcement officers, other first responders are, are exposed to a lot of um, tragedy on, on a daily basis. And over the course of a career, it really accumulates. For the volunteers here, they tell me there's just too many faces on that memorial. And it's clearly an issue, not just in Connecticut, but around the country. Officers dying by suicide. And it's an issue, according to Trish Buchanan, that isn't talked about enough. But hopefully, this race changes that. We need to talk about it and be open about it and provide change. There are resources available um, and that, you know, it doesn't mean weakness uh, to, to reach out and seek help. Resources like wellness conferences and support training. In East Hartford, I'm Dylan Fearon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.